Bang. And welcome back, everybody. I am Ryan Hunter, joined here by Tasty Steve. Mm, give, me here, here. give me a win. Give me a win. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. haven't done this in a long time, Steve. It's, it's actually been a very long time. Too and long. Yeah, I mean, we always talk about it, right? We're like, yo, man, we definitely need to commentate some Guilty Gear together. Well, here it is. Arc Revo America 2019. You guys got it. And it's going to be over some Guilty Gear. I'm super excited. Like you said, uh, oh, we got Kadako up first here mm -hmm, on stage. Mm -hmm. Coming all the way from uh, West Japan. One of the May Masters. This guy yes. is a lab monster. He's just posting tech all the time on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, that's actually the facts. Like, a lot of people say, like, things like, they've only gotten good with May because when people tell them, like, yeah, go look at Kadako, and that's the people that know. They're like, yo, we know how good May can be, how dangerous this character is. I'm pretty sure this is a button confirmation. Button confirmation. All right, there we go. I ain't going to say button checks no, no more. I, th I think they're going. Yeah, they're going. Oh, work? Yeah, yeah, oh, they're going. Oh, snap, let's go. All right. Oh, so this is, okay, this is Nymphy, okay. Oh, See, Nymphy is actually nice. All right, with Gunflame pressure, Kadako trying to feel him out right now. And you Jumping can away. Quick attacks to the 2K, Gunflame just to control the neutral. Oh, nice, lets the Dolphin go. Oh, Ooh. counter hit Fafnir, the immediate burst. Right? <laughs> Soul was already running, he was like, yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay. So these are, yeah, I was going to say, he waited a long time to burst because, especially against somebody like Adaka, you got to be very careful that he's not doing a burst safe route. And you, you, know, you saw him do like the two, uh, five Ps in the air. Yeah, that, exactly. was, that was the check. Yeah. That was the burst check. Okay. The revolver, nice 2K. 2D, excuse me, gets the knockdown. Oh. Trying to bait the blitz back, so he waited until uh, Kadako landed and then tried to do 2H. If he would have blitzed back in the air, that would have counter hit him when he landed. Mm -hmm. Not yeah, quite going to kill. Uh, uh. Hold this dolphin, oh, the bottlenose, the porpoise. Nippy definitely tried to wake up Volcanic Viper. Got 6H instead, but it worked out. Trying to stay alive here. Oh, I like that. You see the quick fall, just to throw the timing off. I like it. All right, so Kanaka, that was a long round one. That was a very long round one. And it's because, like you said, they're feeling each other out, trying to see who's going to do what. What the? Kadako, he's so familiar with those situations. May's uh, sweep, if you hit it meaty, you can actually juggle 2P, and that's exactly what happened there, because he landed on it and hit meaty. Gets the counter hit, shakes it, gets the throw. Un All right. Wild throw. Wild throw. Wayne 20, 28, you're going to take this combo. Uh. Oh, nice air dash mix up right there. Yeah, good block by Kadako. Off of that big jump in once again. Hold this mix. Oh, oh wow, wow. that traded. was still good. That was actually perfect. I remember those days. People used to want it to clash just so they can get the full combo conversion. There's the dust. Takes to the air. Kadako does have burst, though, so Nymphy going to have to be careful here. Oh, Ooh. nice, RC. Already knew it was coming. Dive kick this man. All right, Nymphy can, can definitely win off this hit. Now Kadako has meter that he's got to look out for. Oh, just meaty gunflame hits. Oh, crossed up. Oh. Oh. Ooh, nice that didn't oh. work out. The oh, my oh. God. He was waiting for the burst. Kadako takes it and gets the trophy. Besties, hold yeah. that. Yeah, he definitely tried to hard bait the burst there by just doing nothing. He saw it come back right on that second to last hit. And uh, definitely tried to hard bait it. All right, Nippy not doing too bad. It just Kadako just seems so much more like used to some of these situations happening. Okay, oh, counter hit counter this time. Here again and in the instant, immediate burst again. Deja vu. Look at this conversion, Kadako. Oh, my God. Messed up the double jump there, though. Oh, he's going to combo off the Dolphin. Yeah, couldn't get close enough. Yeah, like you said, has so much tech. You can see it in the gameplay, right? Ready for a lot of these situations. A lot of people wouldn't be comfortable with confirming off of. Ooh, counter hit beach ball. That's going to be a conversion. Side switch wow. and the stun on top of it. Let me get some of that blitz. I know it's bothering you. When you're down. All right, so Kadako on set point here. Yeah, May does surprisingly high stun damage. You, you, if you get hit by a couple of counter hits or the wrong moves, like 6P, it's really easy to stun with May. And she's always been that way. She's always been yeah. one of the characters. Oh my god, counter hit 2H. That was great awareness on that punish. Look he was, at the damage. He was very familiar with that situation. Wow, wake up 6P, probably an OS. Mm -hmm. Wow, oh. I thought the dive kick was going to work out. Oh, the side nice. switch. It catches him in the air with the 5P. Goes for a mix-up on top of him, and Kadako just seems so prepared. There's a whiff punish. Nymphy looks like he's getting more comfortable, though, but oh, no. Mm. That's going to be yeah, that. not quite enough. Wow, see, wow that here. was sick. And no meter on top of it. In close to a burst, but this is a good situation. Could definitely make something happen. Taking yes. the knockdown. Exactly what he needed. Uh, blocking? Wow. Did you see the, the uh, 2K? Yeah, he actually hit with the 2K. He didn't trust it, though. 
Okay, dust hits. He can kill off this. All right, Niffy and no meter on top of it. Wow. Okay, okay. Niffy on the brink, but keeping it together. Making eye contact. All right, that's what I'm talking about. He's getting intimate, all right? Back dash, going for the 6P. He's looking for that Fafnir. I like that, trying to throw him off, doing that 6P okay. on top of it. Conversion here, okay. Nice towards the corner. I like that, the Raw to wow. keep him there. DP to get through. Niffy's definitely getting comfortable. Like you said before, RC goes for the dust. Side dust on top of that. Ain't gonna keep this corner on top of it. Kanako. Oh, the air throw on top of it. Kanako's still really far from burst, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, nice block. And look at how much meter Niffy has left. <gasps> look at the meter. Spent all of it yeah. faultless defense just to make sure that air option was not gonna work out. But here comes Kadako, though. Uh, uh, Niffy is... Oh, oh the oh, counter hit. Oh, you, oh my Watch god, the tech. Kadako thought he was gonna tech forward, so he jumped back. Oh, the quick air dash conversion. Mm -hmm. Man, mm -hmm. Niffy was looking real good there, and then uh, just couldn't close it out. He got a little too aggressive, I think, maybe. Got a Kadako able to uh, pull together and close it out before it went to a game three. Oh, lost soul in the front. I see you. There you go. We got a nice little crowd here at Arc Revo 2019 of the Americas, nonetheless. I really like to see it personally. Um, first off, that match was actually pretty good. And if he was getting, he was definitely getting back control of the match, just was not able to close out. And like you said, he was in a really good position because the combos he was doing, it wasn't giving back a lot of bursts. Exactly. He just gave him the knockdown and another situation to force that pressure. Yep. Yeah, he just couldn't get the last hit, try to maybe get it too much, overextended a little bit, and gave Kanako a window to come back. But yeah, it was a great uh, first match here to start off our block of commentary. I'm just so excited to be commentating with Bro, you guys, you Steve. Look, it's man, been too long, man. We, every time we see each other at an event, we're like, yo, so are we doing it like, to, are we doing commentary together this time? No. Like, oh. Yeah, it never aligns, right? It never it's, it's aligns. Just... But the stars properly aligned this time, and that's why you guys are getting us on the mic for this Guilty Gear. I'm really excited, man. Like, LCQ tournaments, I, I feel like now, like, they're the new hotness. That's what I'm about. I want it like, yo, we have this tournament going on, but it's the LCQ. You know people come out with the bandanas on, with the eye paint, just to be sure. They come out ready. The LCQ events are always like wild card events because you never really know who's going to actually take the plunge and like fly mm -hmm. out to the event. So you get this like mismatch of like all these different random people. Like like right here, we got Rio from, from my scene down from mm -hmm. South Florida. Really up and coming Johnny player. Got top eight at a CEO this year uh, versus, oh. versus Havoc Noah. Yeah, Havoc, Havoc Noah. Havoc Noah, very well-known Eno player. Been around for quite some time as well. So, of course, back home, we have uh, Eno Boys, good Eno player. Eno Boys. Yeah, so uh, Rio definitely knows this matchup, for sure. Okay, all right. Well, look, that means we got something interesting that's about to go down. My man's checking his phone. He's getting ready. He's going straight to the notes. But here we go. Eno versus Johnny. I feel like this is uh, who's about to get hit first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ne neither character wants to get knocked down. Neither, neither character with reversals other than their supers, yeah. so they don't have meterless reversals. All right, All button clearly a button check. Button confirmation. I'm glad that, that, look, the dead angle's coming out. I feel like this is just a prelude. This is just a preview of what's about to happen. Yeah, I, I suspect that this match is going to be very, very offensive. I think um, both these characters and kind of both of these players are just very rushdown oriented, very aggressive. So I expect we're going to just see them button heads the whole time. All right, that's what I like to see. I like to see the clashes. You think we're gonna get a danger time? You think we're gonna get one? When I see buttons heavy people play, I'm like, I feel like we get a danger time because of it. It's like one. I, I, I think if we're gonna see it, it's gonna be on Johnny 6P. Oh, Johnny oh 6P look at the stir down with the handshake. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Why'd you break, Rio? I counted on you, man. Yo, every time I see Rio, he always rocks the police and not shirt. And I tell him every time, I'm like, bro, that shirt. He's like, I know, Steve, yeah. you like my shirt. I'm like, I'm just saying, I'm a fan of the game. I'm a fan of the shirt, but here we go. And uh, Noah wasting no time going right in. All right. Mm, nice. Wait a minute. Rio with the first confirm, spinning some change on top of it. Yeah, Havoc not bursting. Just going to ride it out, try to make it uh, back on offense the hard way. Chuck him. Gets the throw. Rio in full control Ooh. right now. All right, RC. They're, they're just vying for this corner. Yeah, there's the, there's the danger time. Oh, there's the burst. Oh, oh like slow laser. motion. You see that? Man, I love danger time. It gets all dark outside. Oh, yeah, okay, that's a punish. All right. Havoc definitely still in this. Has the hit. That's not going to knock. Okay, he's going to RC to get the knockdown. And get the corner on top yeah, of Yeah, pretty smart. He is out of resources now, but all right, now they're both out of resources. I like that. Using a little 
faultless defense, a uh, cancel run right there with Johnny because he has that dash. Gets him across the screen faster. That's going to be the first round, Rio. And did you see those last, like, five seconds? Rio was just hunting him down, 6K, mm -hmm. dashing, and No was just trying to create some space, get a note out, just stop the, the momentum, and uh, Rio is just giving him no breathing room. And that's pretty smart, right? Like, while you're fighting, you know, ducking is, uh, is pretty good, especially until you see, like, the note, right? Especially at that distance. Nice. Full confirm right now. Look at this damage. Still yeah. has the burst. Sets out the note. Ooh, catches yeah. him with the overhead. Rio, I expect, just gonna let this round go. This should be it, too, with a super. Didn't even need it, but yeah, Rio got his burst back pretty late in that first combo, so it wasn't worth it at that point. All right, round three. Oh, yeah, round 6K. starts 6K. And wow, no burst. Usually once uh, Johnny gets into that jump route. That's when you want to burst. Yeah, it's a pretty safe burst at that point. And I kind of would have liked to see an early burst from No. I mean, he did wind up bursting pretty early, but because he, he should be able to get it back this round now. Yeah. Believes in the offense, though. Takes the oh, old. good block. Yeah, but then he gets hit by the 6K. Yeah, thought he could move. Got to hold this. Rio still in control. Keep the change, you filthy animal. All right now, Rio on the defensive. Havoc trying to make something happen here. Quick back dash. And that's what I was talking about, the duck. That chemical love is one of those main pressure tools outside of the note. So ducking right there is really smart. Rio, oh, Ooh. drops the level three combo again. Well, that should be it. Yeah, and see, exactly what I was talking about. He got his burst back right as the round ended. If he would have bursted a little bit sooner in that combo, he would have got it back in time to burst that combo. No, you're definitely right. Like, um, Johnny takes off a lot of damage. Being aware of those air combo routes so you can burst is super important, especially versus Johnny. Yeah, like when Johnny hits you on the ground, a lot of the stuff is kind of burst safe, especially near the corner. But once he starts going to the jump, you know, the jump portion of the end of the combo, you can kind of burst almost whenever you want. Cause, just because the way his jump cancel moves work, has a lot of recovery on him. All right, nice IB into throw. That would have lost to jump D, but uh, worked out there. YRC once again. I, I love the fact that Noah's using YRC in some of these situations where teching is important. Get him out a lot, a lot of stuff as well. Rio kind of aware, but answers YRC's right Ooh. back. Oh, big counter hit. Yeah, that's a big hit towards the corner. Ooh. Oh, trying to hard fate the burst there. And still, like Noah's still not burst. I keep thinking I'm gonna see him burst, and he's still not taking any of it. I like that ball this defense dashing right there. And I like uh, Rio, after that YRC, realized he was putting himself in the corner, so he air dashed out. This matchup definitely a lot about having control of the, the screen positioning. And he is ducking a little too much. I said that you can duck versus Eno, but you have to be careful. Her air dash is part of the mix up and going, and he's successfully got like three or four overheads at this point. Yeah, exactly. All right, sweep knockdown. Doesn't set the note, interesting. Oh, but jump deep counter hit. Yeah, this is a nice starter. Rio just now getting his burst back. Look at the damage. Takes the knockdown. Oh, plus, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Full charge Psycho Crusher. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Rio has a chance. He has meter. Oh, Ooh. No, yeah. That's that treasure hunt. Nah. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Havoc had already wire seed, so there was no way that was going to hit. Wow. It, it, if he was closer, that might have hit because the uh, treasure hunt can actually cross you up mm -hmm. if you're within a certain range, but he was at basically max range, so not going to happen. And he still looked like he was prepared for it. It looked like he was blocking the other way. He didn't hit a button. All right, so HCL, round opening there from Havoc. It's very back and forth again, jump D. You see why that's working? Uh, he got a throw in that situation once. He IB'd the jump H, and then Rio back through into the corner. Uh, okay. And I think Havoc picked up on that. He's like, okay, well, if you're just going to mash throw after the jump H, I'll just start doing jump yeah. D. And it definitely worked out. Yeah, it's worked out the last two times. Saw how much damage he got in the corner from it as well. Okay, there's the burst. Noah's been holding on to that burst. All right, chemical love once again. Gets the high. Okay, finds a hit with the note, goes low to continue the combo. Yeah, the note might have added too much preparation there, combo drops. Oh, block dead angle, but no punish. Oh, wow. Ready with the YRC. Nice air throw. Havoc all over Rio right now. Rio just struggling to get something, just some space or some resources, anything. He's got nothing right now. Mm -hmm. Nice block. Okay. All nice right. pickup. Mm -hmm. Counter hit conversion gets the knockdown. Oh, once again, he's two for two on those bad boys. Yeah, he keeps faking the cross up, even though there's really not a cross up threat. Uh -huh. Psycho Crusher puts him all the way out on that other side. He's yeah. got to get back in and runs into a note. Rio in trouble right now. Noah, set point. Okay, nice pickup. Havoc doesn't have burst, so this is going to take him to the corner. And this is where you want, this is where Johnny thrives anyway. Oh Ooh, no. Tech jump P gave Havoc the momentum. Okay, immediate burst from Rio. Yeah, get clipped. 
Nice. Oh, that stroke to big tree, big combo. Looking Ooh. for the burst back. Call gets a counter hit on top of it and gets the confirm. Oh. Still looking for the burst and no. Yeah, I think he might have tried to charge blitz and miss out. I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. I think he was trying to charge blitz, but I could be wrong. All right, well, either way, he's going to take the round. So we're going to the final round here. This is so back and forth. This could definitely go either way. Like yeah. we said at the beginning, first hit is going to matter a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, chasing. We saw that 6K workout one time at the beginning of a game. No more, he says. Nice 5K check right there on the dash. Nice punish the uh, dive on the way out, too. Ooh, nice. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. air throw reset. He read, he read that. Looking for another one right there. No tech this time around. All right, there's the burst finally from Havoc. But Ooh. the laser beam had the level three. And I think he can kill off this. I can. Man. Yeah, I can. Oh. Let's go. Rio okay, takes Rio. it over Havoc. Okay, Rio. Look at my man dancing around the card, though. Look at the reflection. Dead. Dead. <laughs> the so first sick. IK of the day, destroyed. So if he, sick. If he was wearing the police and not shirt, it would have been even doper, though. I want you to know that, Rio. <laughs> I want you to know it. I want you to look at this and realize it would have been cooler had you been wearing the police not shirt. But still. The first IK of the day, that's how you know we're playing Guilty Gear. You ain't really swagging in Guilty Gear till you start instant killing people in LCQ tournaments. You know what's crazy to me, Steve? We're, we're so far into the life cycle of this game, right? It's kind of in the sunset now. We've been playing this game for five, six years. There's still so much that players can develop into, like like comboing into IK. How many players do you really see do you that in practical you tournament setups? You don't setup? see too many people do that. And the thing is, in this game, in Guilty Gear X with the series, it's a lot more practical this time around. So I love seeing people optimize, getting that kill, and a little bit of flashiness on the tail end of it. That's going to put Rio still in the tournament on winner's side. A really good set to see regardless. But now I think we have an East versus West match. This is your boy versus my boy right now. That's I'm right. still going to call it down the middle. I mean, I might go a little off the tracks, a little off the rails. Feel free to reel me in or just jump right in there with me. It's okay, Ryan. I mean, I'm just going to throw it out there. To my knowledge, Hitachi is number one seed in LCQ, so okay. I'll just leave it at that. Okay, all I'll right. I'll just leave it at that. All right. Okay. Vero's pretty nice, though. My man's pretty nice. I will say, though, I don't know. Hitachi is a uni player now, so I don't know if... Uh <laughs> no, he's he's been training actually a lot for this event. No, uh, yeah. he, he took it very seriously because he he wants to do well. This is again we're kind of coming up. You know, this is the sunset of the game. Not that many tournaments left for for Exert. You know, we're starting to look yeah, forward true. to uh, Guilty Gear 2020. So these last few tournaments, these are what people are going to remember when they no, look back in in three four years. They look back at Exert. These are the tournaments that people are going to remember. And I can tell you right now, Hotashi has been on a constant increase. You said he's been uh, taking this very seriously. I can definitely tell. I've been seeing him play a lot. I've been seeing a lot of his tournament results. Definitely have stepped it up. Um, we also we saw Vero do pretty well at uh, Evo this year. He had a few stream matches where he was shining a little bit. He's a Slayer player, so things are about to get dicey. Hopefully they've checked their buttons, but here we go. East versus West. Vero versus Hotashi. Oh, button checks? Come on, man. Button Killing confirmations. The Killing the hype. Button confirmations. <laughs> We're all professionals here. This is the LCQ. We've done this before. No more button checks. Confirmations. But, yeah, so this, this matchup... Um, Hotashi is very, very familiar with it, obviously, having played uh, Juggernaut, who's yep. also actually here this weekend. Uh, so, yeah, he's going to be very familiar here. He's going to know what to expect from Vero. Um, and I think that's actually one of the, like, somewhat weaknesses of Slayer is that there's not really too much to play with as far as, like, play style. He kind of does what he does, and it's kind of hard to surprise somebody with Slayer. You it, know what I mean? It definitely is. Um, I feel like he def uh, Slayer as a character, he can definitely get into these routes where everything seems to be, like, super telegraphed because of the way he plays. And I feel like that's what where you can excel with Slayer, right? The minute you start mixing up some of those dandies, YR Sing, throwing in some of those bad stops, catching people with some 6Hs because they always try to jump out, and just being aware. <laughs> Right, being aware of how and where your opponent wants to move. Elf felt one of those characters that Air 5 does. She got Pineberry to slow her down, Bridal Express in the air and on the ground. Oof. Changes things, but not when All you right. get punched in the face. Just round star pile bunker, that's how we're feeling, I guess. Oh, okay. 6 8 counter hit. All right, so this is going to be a slugfest, apparently. Oh, yeah. Vero likes to swing. Nice side swap from Hotashi going to the closer corner here. So smart. Oh, oh. I like the double jump mix up early burst coming from Vero, but still. Yeah, Spencer Hotashi in. definitely in control right now. It's going to take him, oh, well, okay. he would have taken him pretty close to the corner there. Nice IB, but 
the 2D is so active that even with an IB, it can still be saved. Oh, the bomb blew up. Vero was aware. And look at the, sl the stylish combo from Slayer. He backed okay. the through the shot. The yeah, no, that's burst the burst. Oh, my gosh. I, He's shining his shoes. I, He's like, I can't believe you're this close to me. I got to say, I'm a little disappointed right now. Hitachi knows better than that. That's a bur that's a burst save point. That's that's like, come on, uh -huh. that, that's like Slayer 101. I told you, Vero, I told you Vero was nice. He shouldered the pine berry. I'm cool on the fruits. Yeah, Hitachi in vampire. trouble right now. Oh, nice air throw. Ooh, oh, he's the double cross up. A little bit. All right, blocks it the second time. There nice we go, interrupt nice with 2P. Check. 2P to stop it once again. Goes for that visit back dash. Gets caught by the pine berry once again. Here comes Hitachi. All right, Hitachi going to get the knockdown here. Pine berry on top of it. Ooh, wow. nice 2P with the delay as well. Oh, oh. he still baited it out, and he has no burst. Yeah, Meter on top of it, side dust. And he's dead. I, man, what happened, man? You talked to me. You see, you said he has experience. Tell me what happened. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I t look, you should have took he the chocolate. Know what happened either. You should have took the chocolate. Vero was being nice. He's like, look, bro, I, if you want this chocolate, it might help you out. But, but. Actually, talk about Slayer again. I mean, that that's the, we talked about the weakness of Slayer. That's the strength of Slayer, right? You make one or two good reads, the round just ends. That's this is a I character mean. that always has meter, does high damage. You just need a couple solid hits. The right starter, you're doing 50% easy. And people like, remember when people were like, man, I don't know about that Slayer. I don't know about Slayer. And I feel like it's one of those things where you look at him from old games to new games, right? Mm -hmm. If you compare him to some of these other characters, he definitely has like, it, it seems like it's going to be a lot harder for him. But the reads is what I was talking about. That 6H is a very valuable tool. 5P is a very valuable tool. The fact that his dash goes through you definitely makes people hesitate and it definitely gets you openings. You saw Hotashi finally get tired of it and be like, you know what, stop this. 2P to slow him down and then that's when the game kind of opened up for him. But it didn't stop Vero. They gave him the first game with the air dash combo. All right, Vero off to a lead again. Hotashi trying to catch up already. All right, a little bit corner carry. All right, there's the burst. Vero gonna have to work his way in now. This is where it gets tough. Grenade on the floor. Guns out. This is this is where it gets tough for Slayer. But good dead angle. That's gonna get him in, kind of. Oh, big punish. Oh, like I said, that six H. No, you're definitely right with that about Slayer. Nice. That was a crouching confirm. That only combos on crouching. Six H into P pile bunker. Non counter hit. Crouching only. Oh, oh. nice right. command roll. This is good. Oh, he oh, OTG by mistake. No. That's a huge missed opportunity for Hotashi, but still in good position here. He's turning on the offense, and he the was ready with the two P. Vero. Vero the Wednesday set night fight player. I told you, man, that dude is nice. He's looking around like, what? Is that me? Yeah. Did they say my name? Okay, right. yo, Hotashi, you got to do something. Sets out the Pine Bear. All right, caught the low. Oh, the backdash. Oh, oh caught the backdash right back. I love these old, like, slash combos. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Yeah. The bat stop. Hold the signal. Nice block. Oh, the overhead, the dandy. Blitz. Okay. Let it charge a little bit. Oh, tried wow. to go for the Wake overhead and he challenge. Up. You see, he tried to bait him out right there and still wait. Look at the offense from Vera Hotashi. Walked up the with throw. the throw. Hotashi on his last legs here. Has burst. Okay, far okay. slash going to hit. No, didn't spin the meter. I don't know why. Why RC? And he's holding the pine berry on top of it. Look yeah. at the offense. Had to burst. Wow. The double shoe shine finish. That's going to be Vero. Yo, Hotashi talking that smack. Hotashi talking that smack. Who was that that just ran across the room? Somebody get a leash on that guy. <laughs> Somebody put him on the leash. Ruben, calm down, bro. It's just video games. It's just video games, all right? I'm sorry. I, I, look, I told you it was East versus West. I've seen Vero do pretty good at Evo. That's a West Coast player, just FYI. I played with that guy. I just wanted to put that out there. Very impressive. Yeah, he's, look, people be sleeping on Vero. That man, he's, he definitely does work. I'm sorry, Hotashi. Don't shake your head. You're still alive. It's okay. Yeah, I have it to happens. assume that was winner. So, and I believe the way these uh, pools are structured, uh, they could very well play again. Yeah, that's true. They could so. definitely play again. They could definitely play again. Um, it, that's what happens, man. We're early in pool play right here. Um, of course, that was a pool one match. We have another one for you guys, though. Man, that was kind of crazy. Octopimp holding up the sign. He has that sign above his bar. Everybody gets yeah. P-Buster. You, you show him what that input is. There let, you go. Play it like a guitar. Let him know Play it like a guitar. Oct, there you go. You got to mean it. You got to mean it, Octopimp. <laughs> so shout out to Octopip, one of the, the resident pot players. The potential. Yeah, speak, speaking of the West Coast, right? Uh-huh. He's he's definitely one of those guys I've been uh one of the nicest people I've ever met, I will say. He definitely gave me uh some some cool gifts when I first moved out here. Cool guy on top of it. Dang, don't break it, dude. He told me he was gonna have Dice K signed. 
I mean, that's that's pretty that dope, makes right? Sense, yeah. That's pretty dope, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's one of the few uh, Potemkin representatives out here. A lot of the Potemkin players either uh, not here or uh, ha aren't playing Potemkin anymore. Not here or not here. <laughs> <laughs> we just yeah. gotta leave it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're just not here. They're like, I gotta play Potemkin. Ah. Oh. So hopefully uh, we'll see what uh, Octo can do here. Hopefully he makes it pretty far in the bracket. Big fan of his. He was actually streaming like, I think it was uh, two nights ago oh, with some man. last last minute prep for this event. So I was watching a stream for a bit. Definitely uh, trying to get those last couple reps in, you know? Yeah, he's another one of those guys. Along with Vero, they got Ruben. They all play at Wednesday Night Fights. Um, and it's really cool because the scene just recently, they started back having those Guilty Gear locals. And those guys every week are on me like, yo, Steve, enter. Steve, enter. I'm like, bro, I just got here. I'm probably going to leave early. But they don't stop them. That definitely does not stop them. And on top of that, like, it's the fact that they keep playing that makes the scene so strong. They got a lot of players here uh, on the West Coast that continue to play. So shout out to, like, the Wednesday Night Fights players, man. Those guys Is it, isn't uh, come Hirsch another one of those guys? Mm -hmm. Hirsch is here as well? Yes, yes. And he's also here. Like I said before, like, it's, it's really one of those things, like, you said that it is coming to the end of the life cycle when it comes to Guilty Gear X and Rev 2, but these guys are still going, just like the guys on the, on the East Coast as well, still going in, grinding. <laughs> oh, man. Get this guy out of here. We're not just rabble rouser in the crowd. Octopimp, show him that he's wrong. Make Potipka great again? You just turned away too soon. You gave up too soon, sombrero hat sign guy. I don't know his name. I just gave you <laughs> what he looked like. Look at him. You know he's going to enter his next tournament He's like going to right? enter his yeah. next tournament. Sombrero hat, sign guy. Shut up, Tasty Steve. I'm like, you know what, man? All right, here we go. Property of Zep. So we got uh, Acarol. Acarol, hope I'm pronouncing yeah. the name right. I think but, he's from uh, uh, France, if I'm not mistaken. Playing Leo, so... This is uh, going to be a very up close match. Both these players, both these characters, want to be up close. They want to be in your face. Mm -hmm. Oh, and right. Octopimp. I know I've definitely fought Octopimp in tournament before, so I know he has some experience on this matchup. Ch chases, okay, keeps the pressure instead. Oh, stand H. Did the uh, break in the hammer fall? Would have just gone through that five H if he had held it. All right, not sure. Didn't see the rocket man up there. Didn't take him back down to the corner. I was looking for. Goes for the side Ooh, switch. Hits him with the up. and one special. Quick air dash. Oh, messed up the Oki there. Wow, he's just getting hit by a lot of the meaties. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got those, kind of. Tried to go for an air throw right there. Possibly looking for a burst. Wow. Berserker slash out of the corner. Bad situation. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, he can can't confirm. absorb the super. Yeah. No. I was looking for a YRC right there, bro. There we go. Now that's super so fast. It's super fast. I know people like some people like backdash it. I've seen like people backdash it, but it's only because they're backdashing before the flash. Yeah, exactly. I love the checks right there by Octopimp. Oh, Ankle. nice air to air. Okay, Mega Fist back. Ooh, nice, nice air to air again. Yeah, Potemkin too heavy to pick up. Some characters you can pick up off of that. All right, Pop Buster. Get racked. P put them on the top. Oh, oh wow. my God! Get the scooped. hard call out. Do you st <laughs> you see Leo? He's like, man, this ain't gonna even hurt. <laughs> he has gotten hit by like four meaties in a row. Octo's just done like meaty two p, like all these mids. Well, that that one was a high, I guess, but right. But I mean, still, it's just. That's why, why, why are you getting hit by all the bees? He's just straight up holding up on wake up. The octo pimp mind game, bro. He definitely like freaks. He's like, oh, he's gonna keep hitting me, and then he starts scooping. Okay, corner. This is looking good. Oh, I like the cancel. Nice flick timing. That gets him out of the corner. Oh, empty okay. jump. Uh, put this man on the squat rack. Blitz. Right, blitz. Wow. Nice awareness that that was going to cross up. Ooh. Mega fist back. Woo. Right, nice, nice jump, jump out. out. Yeah. Ooh. I, I love the awareness. This is the same situation we saw in the very first round. This is where Octopimp got his most success. The back wow, turn situation. Wow, there was a pixel in the corner for him to dash into. Oh, get scoop. RC, 6H? Mm -hmm. Burst safe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Octopimp. Where Very you at, nice. sign guy? I thought you said make him great again. Make him great. Look at what he's doing. He's flexing on the win side. He, that's, that's the greatness you wanted. He's winning. All right, going into game two. Octo up a game. Let's see if he can keep this going. Ooh, two oh, 2H. I'm flipping big tables. Trade. Unfortunately, got the OTG there. Once again, I love the air recovery. Um, ready with the back turn 5P. Back dash nice. once again. Classic. The scoopage. Safe no. jump. Oh, I ain't gonna even. I don't even want you to get a chance to burst. Yeah, exactly. Oh, the shoulder. Lean on him. Air throw. Tech trap. Oh. 
Okay, wait a right. minute. Yeah, oh, not no. dead yet. Could have took the sweep right there just to get the knockdown, but not ready. Octo Pimp on set point right now. Yeah, Octo looking good. It looks like he's he's confident right now. Route start 2P hits. One of the better route starts in the game, actually. Mm -hmm. It has so much range. Yeah, ooh, and the burst whiffs under the sweep. Octo looking in control. Nice. Scoop. Safe jump, yeah. Oh, we got, got him again. You see how he's like buckling a kid into a safety belt. I think that's enough. Yeah. Oh my God. Octopelt meant that. His hair was shaking. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, my man didn't know. <laughs> my man got racked two times and he yeah. was out. It's definitely two. Eve, look, everybody giving him the thumbs up from the crowd. Octopimp gonna take it. He got racked too fast, man. Yo. Sign guy, you gotta change your sign like ASAP, bro. He just proved you wrong. Instantly, instantly. My man Echo Raw just ran away. He's like, and he stole the sign, bro. That's blasphemy. You wouldn't have made it far. <laughs> All right, so that was a good match. Octo, congratulations to him advancing on. Uh, really just nice to see Good Potemkin play, right? Well, Something I, you don't get to see all the time. Either you're here or you're not here. That's what I was talking about, man. Octopimp been a Potemkin player for so long. He's even got the sign to match it. So shout out to him. Sombrero hat sign guy. I thought you said make Potemkin great again. He looks just fine if you ask me. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Nobody blew up my Twitter. It was just a joke, okay? But here we go. More matches for you guys. Arc Revo America 2019. Yo, the full blown. The Kai 2020 cosplay up on the stage for you guys. I definitely wear the cape. Is that Haseo? I believe so. I'm pretty sure. The wig is throwing me off. Getting names up here. I believe this is talking Haseo. Yep, yep, it is. Wow. I'm impressed with myself that I recognize Haseo in the cosplay. Hey, you're special, man. That's, that's pretty good cosplay, though. Yeah. I definitely would wear, like, the Top Shaw thing. I would definitely wear that. The, the Kai outfit is actually something I would just wear. So tell me, Kai's outfit in 2020 versus Exerd, what's the, what's the rating? It's free 2020. Yeah. Because I would definitely wear I could dress like Kai and open. I'd be like, this dude, Steve, wearing, like, a church cross shawl <laughs> thing? I'd be like, yes. <laughs> like, where'd you get it from? Guilty Gear 2020. Like, what the hell is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you guys wouldn't get it, you know? So Taka, all the way here from uh, Tokyo, one mm -hmm. of the players uh, out of the famous Mikado Arcade, going to be uh, playing Slayer. So it's going to be our second Slayer player here. Yeah, it's pretty uh, scary, man. Uh, Mikado is one of the most dangerous Guilty Gear places on Earth. And that was a, like it's like it's the mecha. dangerous it's Guilty Gear Mecca, right? It's like the dangerous neighborhood of Guilty Gear, like mm -hmm. the Safari Zone. It's like it's so yeah. dangerous there. I've been there. I've got instant killed there. I've got beaten up there. Some guy took my wallet, that didn't happen. It took my, my money to play the game, because I got beat up all the time, so. You willingly gave up your wallet. Yeah, yeah, I knew what was happening. Had Fab back there practicing like shoulder loops with Potemkin, it's, it's a scary place to be. Yeah, so Taka's opponent here, Haseo, uh, I believe from Mexico, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. She has been coming out to events for years and years now, playing Raven since the beginning, and uh, she's gotten much, much better I mean, even when she started coming out, she was, you know, pretty known. Uh, but now she's she's gotten especially strong. So this should be a really good match. Yeah, and like you said, it's definitely one of those things where I'm like, I love seeing these matches because it's the the later end of the game's life cycle. So I get a chance to see what's happened so far, see how they've advanced in their skills as it goes on, right? Exactly, exactly. So this matchup, I think. Uh, Raven can do a, a pretty decent job of controlling the ground. We saw Slayer before, so if, if you watch that match, he stays, you probably notice he stays on the ground a lot. Doesn't really take much to the air. If he's gonna go to the air, it's gonna be a little air dash, something, something you know, pretty infrequent. He's just so strong on the ground between Dandy Step, Mappa yeah. Punch, and his dashes, his teleport dashes, that he really just wants to fight you on the ground. But Raven is really good, good at controlling the ground. The ground. He's, yes. got, he's got the needle to control all that horizontal space. He's got the, the, the swipe, the slash. Got the, has that air dash as well. It's going to make you second guess everything. Has the orbs to hold. Not going to see it too much in the neutral. But if you see if you see Slayer hanging back there, you're definitely going to see an orb or two just to control that neutral like you said. Right. Something that's really, really important against Slayer is having moves that have a lot of active frames. Mm -hmm. Because of that teleport dash, and because of, exactly, because of Dandy, because of Mappa, you want moves that stay active so that he can run into them. And that is something that 
uh, Raven, I think, does a lot better than oh, most yeah. characters. Because he, he does it automatically. A lot of right. times when you're fighting Slayer, you have to anticipate. You have to, it's like playing a first person shooter. You got to shoot in front of the target. Exactly. That's exactly what you have to do versus Slayer. But like yep. you said, the ground control game is slightly, I ain't going to say slightly, but definitely in favor of Raven in this matchup. Mm -hmm. So Slayer's going to have to play a lot harder. Yep. All right, here we go. So let's see uh, what Haseo can do. Obviously, Taka going to want to just get in as soon as possible, see how uh, Haseo can do keeping him out. And you see that right there, going to the air just to see how Haseo's going to react. All right, Haseo with the knockdown. Oh, six and the wake-up 6P. Yeah, you got to oh, respect that. Ooh, the burst no. a little premature. 5K, gets the full juggle. Yep. Overhead, Into bite this grab. ball. Give me some of that blitz on top wow. of it and the stun. Oh, you're yeah. Done. You're All right. done. That's what Slayer does. We talked about it before. Just needs, uh, you know, one or two good hits, the right starters. I, I feel like the thing is, is like, he, you have to be careful uh, fighting Slayer, but the minute he gets to the corner, it gets super scary. Wow, baits out the anti air with the air super. Oh, bad stop finds. It's Mark RC on top of it. Look at the damage on Raven's life bar. Oh, goes low this time. Not enough meter to close it out. Okay, okay. Haseo fighting back with the Blitz. Good pressure. And nice, Dash gets the sweep. Up. Needle's going to restrict the movement a lot. Mm -hmm. Two times on top of it. One third. Again. All right, Haseo coming alive here. Wake up 6P again. Yep, but Haseo avoids it this time. And scouts out with that air dash. Hopefully Haseo is uh, aware of that. Is he going to do it again? No. Oh, okay, she is aware because she tried to uh. absorb it. So Haseo, oh, baited. I saw a button. No. Not going to work, Counter though. hit. All right. Oh, could, could have maybe killed off of that. Oh, throw. the back okay. throw. Okay. okay. Wow, Haseo, very nice comeback that round. Definitely made some very quick adjustments there to the wake up 6P. I like what I'm seeing from Haseo. Quick changes on top of that. Yeah, really important at this level of play. Pumping the brakes a little bit, slowing down, seeing how Taka's going to react. Nice. That actually punished the uh, pile bunker there. Okay, good block. That is safe, though. Okay, Dash back, back in. in. Mm -hmm. Haseo looking good right now. Gets tagged a little bit by a Mappa. Okay, now this is more scary. Great instant blocks. Wow, just a standard 5K. Get off him. And that's what we're talking about, right? That far slash, very active. Nice air to air. <laughs> Funny, as soon as uh, Slayer starts trying to fight in the air, starts losing, right? Mm. Oh, big hit. Meter. Oh, baits the burst. Yep, yep. And that's going to be enough. Good read from Taka. Haseo was looking good. She was looking in control. No, that was definitely true. Uh, Haseo, def the, the changes that, that happened there, just being aware, taking a step back, especially on wake-up, started anticipating uh, the dandy steps as well as some of those dashes. Just the, the fact that you're able to hold back in some of those instances and get a good read to see what your opponent is going to do, even versus Slayer, is really, really smart. So we should mention, by the way, this is a qualifier match. So mm -hmm. Taka is in uh, winners of this pool right now, so he would qualify out if he wins here. RC. This is not looking good. Black beat combo, and then there's a burst. All right, this is going to be a knockdown. Wake up 6P. Yep, nice. So Haseo hitting low, but actually did it too soon, mm -hmm. and then the, the orb messed up the combo opportunity. Okay, sets out the pin. Ooh. The needle. Taka was ready for that uh, minimal air dash string. Okay, two buttons this time around to catch the dash. That's exactly what I was talking about. Gets the swipe. Man, Haseo making very nice use of, of 2H, a normal that we didn't really talk about before the set started, but another one that has a, a lot of range and, and is pretty active. All right, something needs to change up. Yeah. Haseo in trouble. Set point for Taka right here. Nice far slash. Ooh, the dash through. It's going to be a knockdown. Haseo about to get her burst back. And this is what exactly what we were talking about, the side okay. switch. Didn't read the burst this time around, though. Haseo in a lot of trouble. About 30% life left. Taka. About 80, 80 percent, 90, excuse me. Haseo really trying to stay mobile right now, moving around very nicely, just looking for a hit. Staircase to the nice. ground, base okay. the burst, and almost missed the punish. Oh. Didn't get the jump cancel. Oh, Those Okay, dashes. throw. One hit could do it here. Wow, mm -hmm. wake up, throw, turned into a 5H. Nice 2H, nothing off of it, though. Oh, Going for the, for the command throw. Command grab. Taka just needs one hit. Okay, RC. Mm, goes through to the other side. Just short on meter to RC for the kill, but that's going to be enough. Taka takes it. And just could not stop the, the bad stomp off after dash. Just kept Haseo guessing a lot of those instances. But that's going to send Taka out of pools. But I believe Haseo has one more chance on the loser side, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we'll have to see.
I'm right, lo though. loving the cosplay though. I told you, I can I can wear a Kai outfit IRL with the holster and everything, the double belts. <laughs> Give me a reason to wear double belts IRL. I used to be one of the guys that rocked the belt the belt chain, not just the single belt chain, but I had the double loop belt chain. I don't doubt it. Yeah, you. yeah, you better not doubt it. You know how I get down, and I know you guys get down with some Arc Revo America 2019. Thanks for hanging out with us. Ryan Hunter, Tasty Steve on the mic. We got a nice little crowd here. We got Guilty Gear 2020 We're in the back. We're only just getting started. We're only just getting started. There's so many players here that we won't even see until later tonight because they're already pre-qualified. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So we saw Bobas come up a little earlier, all the way from Sweden. And then we have Burt going up against Karun. And this is uh, on winners. Karun's still in winner's side. So I'm guessing this may be the losers finals of the, on, uh, the grand finals of the pool. Okay, okay. Trying to qualify out here. Trying to qualify out of pools. Uh-oh, Bob is getting a little support from the, from the countrymen in the front row. Met him like two years ago, that's crazy. He was like, man, I haven't seen you since like, like for two years. Came back to the <laughs> States for Arc Revo America, all the way from Sweden. He brought people with him. That's how you know my man gets down with some guilty gear. He brought the boys to indulge in said guilty gear. And again, like, like we said before, that's how special this tournament is, right? People flying in from all over the world. I feel like there's almost more international representation here than there are at, at some of the biggest tournaments of the year, like oh, EVO yeah. and stuff like that. Just from the fact that, like, we get a lot of international players at EVO, but not from as many places, right? That's I true. feel like we're getting more representation at this event. If you think about it, though, like, Guilty Gear has always been one of those kinds of games. And, some, and, and I could say anime in specific, right? Like. So much international competition, I feel like, travels, especially later on, like around now, to get their chances to play some of the best competition in the world. And I feel like now, once again, going back to the life cycle of the game, yep. there's a lot of top players now, I feel like, that people would love to get a chance to mix it up with. Why not Arc Revo 2019? Why not make this the spot to see? And personally, like, I am super happy. Like, as an anime player, I'm super happy to see that we have events like this where players come internationally to get that smoke. Like, I love Love it. I, I love people traveling back. Yo, I just came to play some Guilty Gear in another country. I'm trying to get rolled up right now. But here we go. Bobbis. This is definitely on loser's side. We saw him a little earlier going up against Karun. This is definitely a qualifier to get out. All right, here we go. I think the button checks are complete. Jam versus Elfelt. Let's go. No? <laughs> Look, I guess not. Man, Man come you, on. You are just getting hyped I up. I am and getting just... out super hyped yeah. for this, and they just going straight to the button confirmations, bro. All right, but yeah, Jam recently became a terror in this game over the last couple of years in the last patch. Just a couple of buffs, man. That's all it takes sometimes. You know, a little sweep buff, and just uh, it really doesn't take much. I think she got a card buff also. It takes less time to charge the mm -hmm. cards. And like overall, too. So like mm -hmm. now she gets a lot more chances to uh, get those card power-ups. On top of that, you have to be careful. Like the new system of this game for Jam in general definitely helps her out with the YRC just to keep her pressure going. And it's not like too much out of her pressure range. But she scares you because she's able to stay close to you at all times, has great buttons and neutrals, and you have to respect her. She has parry. You have to be weary of that. But I feel like Elfo's one of those characters that as long as she keeps the range on her side, she should do fine. Yeah, I think what's going to be tough in this matchup from, from what I've seen of it before is because Elfo doesn't have a traditional 6P, it's kind of hard to stop Jam from air dashing, and that's something that she does very well. So but, but we'll have to see how Karun right, takes advantage of that. You call it right, you get S. You get that close S, which is another button that's super good for Elfel, especially when it versus any air dashing character. You got to hesitate to do it a little bit, but the option is there. And still, like you said, it's difficult, though. There's the parry. Yeah, that's already two successful parries that have made a big difference in momentum here. Oh, air 5D. All right, simple knockdown here for Bobbis. Oh, nice. Wow. Blitz, a blitz oh. back, the triple we blitz back. We blitz? I mean, when it's getting close to Christmas. Nice block on the fake overhead. Mm -hmm. Big hit here, double puff ball. Oh, you done? Yeah, yeah, he's done. Yeah, that combo does a lot. The double puff ball that early on. I love this thing. Jeez. <laughs> Dude, it's you so guys can't see it, but Steve's dancing his yeah, chair right okay, now. I don't even know, man. I love this song. It just keeps going up. Like it's just it's like give me more. All right, Bob is with the control right now in the corner, but there's the uh drag kick on the way out. Man, that Ryuji. Yeah, Carter Ryujin is no joke. Mm -hmm. Oh, counter hit far slash didn't convert it though. 
could have been a uh, air dash combo. I like the awareness right there. So you can see Karun ducking at that 5H range because it is a high hitbox. And she can slide under. Oh, nice. And spins the burst. That's a burst black beat combo. He's trying to close this round out. Is that going to be enough? No, even with the burst. OTG still not OTG enough. Still. Okay. Okay. Wow, he actually, that was that was really good awareness. He IB'd in the air and then did falling jump P right before he landed. And the IB is what enabled that. Okay. Right, nice conversion off the grenade hit. Going to take him towards the corner. Big opportunity here for Babas. Nice, catches him low. I think he's picked up on the fact that, oh, baits the burst. I, I think he picked up on the fact that uh, Karun is really uh, trying to look for parries. So he's going low a lot more and it's working out a lot. He's going to kill off this. Done. Yeah. Bridal Express. Yeah. Ooh. With a perfect. The one shot 5H. Babas trying to make it out. Yeah, so Karun uh, bursting into that burst safe route there. Elfelt in the corner, which is doing shotgun, no. is like incredibly difficult to burst, if not impossible. Yeah, and it, it's, but it's so intimidating, right? You're getting hit and you're like, man, I want to burst. Yeah. There's so much damage. You know how much damage is coming. Yeah. 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 <laughs> all right. So, round one was looking like this was going to be very one sided for Karen, but Bobas brought it all the way back to take game one. So, let's see if uh, Karen can make some adjustments. I think, if anything, Karen might just want to slow down on defense. We'll see if he chooses to do that. All right, burst. burst. Pineberry just to try to keep the corner. Just floats out though. Sets up the shotgun. I mean the sniper. What a conversion Ooh. off of the tree. No Karun. Yeah. yeah. No, wow, that's a throw. he missed the punish. Got back thrown into the corner. That was really good by Bobis. You might as well mash throw there because if they punish, you're gonna be in the air anyway. There's nothing you can do. Oh wow, blitz the Pineberry. Okay, wait a minute. Here comes Karun. Nice Tried to go tech. for the throw. They're taking throws. Oh, wait a minute. And see, there's that air dash I was talking about being a problem. Bobas got hit. He blocked far slash, and then Karen ID'd in, got hit by the, by I think it was jump P. There's very little Elfo can do there. You gotta probably air throw is like the best thing you could do. And that's if you see it coming. Like, you spoke about that air dash mix up, and that's one of the things that's like, that Gear is known for. Like, that air dash mix up after like quick hits, like, yo, what am I about to do? Am I gonna crush you up? Am I gonna air dash in and keep that pressure? And a lot of times it's character dependent. Elfo, one of those characters that can do it as well. All right, Bobis had a lot of momentum there. Karen wanted to stop it, chooses to spend the burst. Mm -hmm. Very Car. even right now. Let's go level three car. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Big hit. Mm -hmm. And it's a black beat combo on top of that. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be a kill. Once again, that same route, a very high damage. He had the uh, charged uh, Ryujin, RC, puffball, puffball. Mm -hmm. It's already so much damage. Bobis all the way from Sweet. The Swede's in the front. They put his guy. He put his glasses on. He's getting ready. I told him to give me, like, updates. I said, yo, Bobas, man, let me know how you do. And I commentated, like, two of his matches already. He's looking pretty good. I mean, here he is in uh, finals of the pool, grand finals of his pool. All right, good pressure right there. A little staircase. Instant block. Yeah, he IB the air-to-air -air and then had the awareness to faultless knowing that he was going to get stuck in the air. Ooh, Blows nice. up the grenade. Oh, went for the tech. Could have had a conversion off of it. No burst on the side of Bobas. Backdash, close as confirmed. Brido Express out of the corner. Got him with the overhead, but no the, conversion. The shake, though. Yeah, that was a very quick shake out of the stagger. All right, knockdown, recards. Overhead, but no meter to convert. Taking the steps, still gets the throw, though. She gets a combo off of that, especially with the cards. Gets a charge up, gets the sweep on top of it. Gonna get the wall. Wow, not gonna be enough, actually. Oh, no, I thought the OTG would help out. Oh, this is not a character you want to leave alive. Alpha can definitely do this. She just needs one hit. Oh, there's knockdown. Okay, the wake up parry. Little risky, but he had a lot of life to work with. All right. Nah, 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 nah. Set point here for Karun. Oh, wow, the explosion, so active. Speaking of the explosion, that Pineberry coming back to bite Bobbis. Corner carry. Okay, not blocking the legs. Goes for the tech four buttons. Parry once again, oh, baits the burst. the burst. Okay, yeah. Karun. That might have been straight up a reaction to the burst, because he could input that kick so far in advance that he was probably just staring at the burst meter with his fingers over the, the RC buttons. Backdash once again. Yo, Bobas has been quite ready with the backdashes, and this should be the end. Yeah. Karun, no. Why did he kill him? Okay. He had, he had meter for everything. All right. And Karun is going to take it over Bobas to move out of the pool. All right. Okay. 
But that was grand final, so that means Bob is definitely has one more chance on that loser side to try to make it out in that LCQ position. You see the lovely crowd there, everybody hanging out, having a good time. Arc Revo America 2019 is still underway. We still got plenty of matches. We started off with some Blaze Blue, moved ever so gently into some Guilty Gear, and we still got plenty more left for you guys. So Ryan, how are you enjoying yourself so far? It's been it's been a cool day so far. Yeah, so far. I mean, it's so early on still. Like you said, we, we kind of eased our way into Guild Gear, and now it's starting to ramp up. We still have a lot of players that we need to get qualified. Or, or qualified. Uh, if I remember correctly, we need 13 mm -hmm. players from this LCQ uh, because we have 19 already pre-qualified. Yes, yes. So, yeah, still got a lot of people that we need to see, you know, who's going to make it out of these pools. A lot of pools to go. It's going to be good. We see, uh, I know we got my boy Dead Spike coming back up. I say my boy, but he was he was my demon at Wednesday Night Fights for like three to four months. I just could not beat this dude. It was actually crazy. But he's going to be going up against Fu. But before we get there, the run back, yep. the rematch, Kadako versus Nifty coming up. Yeah, and this is what we were talking about. The way these pools are structured, uh, because of the format of the tournament, couldn't really couldn't really do three out, I guess, the way the way it has to be structured, because we need qualifiers for the, for the final bracket. Mm -hmm. So... The unfortunate side of that, depending on how you look at it, is we're going to wind up seeing potentially a lot of double jeopardies here. But in a way, it's kind of exciting, right? Because you get to see a lot of runbacks like this, especially this match was back and forth before. It was a lot of It was of very back and, back and forth. forth. It, right after it ended, you could see Kadako. He reeled back in his chair. He was holding his chest. He was, he was breathing heavy. And if he legit was making a comeback that could have been changed the entire outcome of that set, but still Kadako closing it out, just ready with so many of the convergences. I mean, there were so many situations in that match where it was like instant block air, instant block button, instant block conversion into like these big, not even like big damage combos, but just to get the knockdown, get the push to the corner, and keep that pressure that May is ever so known for, even though she's fighting a player, a character like Soul. So just talking about Double Jeopardy's a little bit more, obviously, the, the, the kind of common knowledge is you don't really like to see it that much because or it, it feels really bad as a player, right? Losing the same player twice. But what I try to appreciate in these kind of situations where you have two players playing again is I want to see the adaptation. I want to see what did you learn from your first set, right? So, so a couple of things that we noticed right away. Uh, counter hit Fafnir's. There were some early counter hit Fafnir's. Kanako burst immediately on those. Is, is Niffy going to look to bait that burst this time, right? Mm -hmm. Is he going to get those hits again and, and make the adjustment? There, there's just like so many little things like that that can make such a big difference in, in a match at this high of a level. Oh, yeah. No, that, that's definitely true. Um, and, like, this game, Guilty Gear, is definitely about, like, that bait scenario, right? Like, we always talk about people slugging it out and being ready with some of, like, these oki okay situations. And, like, even, like, that last match when we saw Tech Buttons to get prepared. Being aware of your opponent's options, especially with the characters, is definitely smart. It's the next level of what we want to do, especially considering how long we've been playing this game now. But now the mix-up comes. Now you're going to like, oh, is it going to burst now? Is it going to burst later? Like, what's the meta when it comes to the burst? I feel like watching players use burst is a meta of its own. Oh, for I feel sure. like everybody uses burst differently. And there's so many uses. You use offense, defense, uses to increase your like your damage or some of your super moves or your overdrives. Like stuff like that plays a difference. Especially when you, you know, integrate that offensive and defensive side to it. Alright, here we go. The run back. Oh boom da 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 On the dolphin though, Sea World. Let the intros rock. There you go. Like gentlemen. Woo! This music. Yo, can Spencer, can you turn my music up in my ear, or do I have control of it up here? <laughs> I, don't I, think just, you, I don't think you have any control I over this. <laughs> All right, here we go. The, Let's go. The run back. Kadako on the one-player side. I like that. And you can see him already just, like, baiting. The, the air dash in, the jump in, air dash backwards just to see if uh, Kadako's going to swing. You see the Dolphin sitting there chilling. Ooh, caught the back dash with the IED. And those are the pickups we were talking about. An early burst, but half-life already going for Niffy right now. Oh, Ooh. going, looking for that Fafnir for sure. Okay, nice blitz, blitz. And that air falling is. Oh, both players getting knocked down there. Oh, combo. We oh, saw that wow. in their first set, oh, but Kanako wow. didn't get the conversion off of it. Yeah, has to block the Dolphin. Mm. Oh, and the counter hit. That's going to be the end of this round. And takes oh, a burst OTG on top of it. Gets, gets the back throw. throw. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, hold on. Kadaka with no resources. Wow, throw side switch. If, if, if Nikki could at least get Kadaka to burst, that would be huge here. And that was the reason he took that yep. route right there. Yep, burst safe route with the two Ps. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> this song is going so hard. <laughs> How do you not get hype playing this game? In between the rounds, the music is Huge counter hit 5H. Look at the damage. 
I'm telling you, man. I feel like May is like a 35 year old woman, man. There's no way she's just lifting this anchor. Oh my, oh my god. He's stunned, yeah. yeah I couldn't say it fast done. enough. He is definitely dead. Damn. Yeah, it was it was counter hit 5H into a huge combo, and then uh, what was that last hit? Counter hit 2H or something? I, I don't think know, was, but I couldn't, I can't whatever remember. Whatever it was, he was definitely getting stunned off that. We, we mentioned that in the first set. May does surprisingly high stun. If you're not familiar with this game, May has some of the highest stunning normals in the game. Her 6P, mm -hmm. it has like a specially coded modifier for stun. <laughs> when I tell you that, and, and that came from, I was actually talking to Nerd Josh about this the other night. Like, you used to be able to do like counter hit. Like, I didn't even counter hit. 6P, RC, 6P. Yeah, and it would just stun some yeah, characters. Yeah, and it yeah. always stunned. So she's always been one of those characters that deals out a lot of stun where you had to be careful of. But Kadako, one of the best at just converting these situations for the better, getting the knockdown in the corner, the interrupt with the 2P. Yeah, we were talking about adjustments. I would have to say, so far, the biggest adjust adjustment I've seen from Kadako oh, is, sure uh, his, is his conversions have been uh, much more on point. We saw him miss a couple opportunities in, the, in their first set, but this time he's been hitting everything. Wow, got Whoa. two. Have to imagine. Oh, okay. And that's what, what I'm the, talking about. What? what Not, the, you, you missed the block. I first? know. I was looking over his two uh, monitors. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> but uh, and that, that's what I'm talking about. Just going with those burst safe routes, Kadako. You know he's got the tech. You got to be so careful against him. Okay, Blitz. that's gonna be a punish. Yeah. Hoop set. Hoop set. Man, Kadako. Man, that conversion. Oh man. And if you're in trouble, once again, 2D not going to work out. Kadako just going for the jumps and the dust on top of it. It's going to get him the corner. Yeah, it's going to get a nice knockdown here. Hoop set. Okay, backdash doesn't get him away from the Volcanic Viper. Give me another match, just so I can hear this song again. Flame. Oh, counter gun flame. Nice conversion. Really high up, but okay. Oh, Gets I the love that. And the corner on nice. top of it. The air dash mix up. Wait a minute, Niffy. I mean, he's got to do something now. He's got to. He's got to win this round, stay alive. So, try to catch. Yeah. Oh, I like the idea, but Kadaka one step ahead with the faultless in the air, taking him corner to corner here. Black beat combo. He's trying to. Though. Yeah, he's trying to get the burst. Oh man, I thought the 2D was about to hit YRC. Counter hit. Kadaka. No. no. Oh yeah, nothing he could do. He, was, he bet it all on that blitz, got stuck, and Kadaka waited it out. But that was hilarious. He did that Volcanic Viper. Kadaka was FDing in the air, and he ran out of meter. Oh, and so he wow, got hit. I didn't even notice. Yeah, yeah. Pretty scary situation. Niffy, uh, maybe instead of doing the Blitz, he could have waited to see the tech and then just Volcanic Viper again because mm -hmm. Kadaka didn't have any still wouldn't have had meter, yeah. Oh, that was really good. I thought it was like a counter hit on the on the uh, DP, but it wasn't. And I was like, yo, are you going to jump up? And he was just down there waiting. I'm like, yeah, what did you yeah. do? I, I'm the guy that would have jumped. I would have jumped up there. I would have been right. As soon as you teched, I would have been like, what's up? <laughs> right there, shh, 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 all the way down to the ground. But either way, Kadako moving on, going to make it out of his pools, but it does not stop there. We have Fu coming up. He's going to be going up against Dead Spike. Like I said, man, this dude was definitely my demon for a very, very long time. And it's a messed up way that he became my demon, too. So I played him in Wednesday Night Fights. Quick story, guys. Played him in Wednesday Night Fights, and I, like, beat him. And he's like, man, what did I do wrong? I'm like, actually, you got to do this. Next week comes back. Yeah, did, did exactly did this. Exactly. <laughs> like, what the? Why did I tell him this? And then he just beat me. He was successfully my demon for quite some time. Um, but he's going to be going up against another West Coast uh, player, my boy Fu. We saw him a little earlier as well, rocking that Hey Hyun. A uh, dead spike. If anything hasn't changed, he plays Kai. And obviously, I didn't have to tell him much to how to beat me as a Leo player. It was kind of dumb. Yeah, Fu is uh, just a very strong player. He's never really talked about when you when you have discussions of like who that you know some of the top players in the country are. But if you really think about it, he is extremely consistent. You always see him in top eights. When he shows up to a tournament, he always makes it far. Oh, I yeah. think I think he's really. Uh, you know, under appreciated. Oh no, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely one of the cases. But like, that goes right into what we were talking about earlier. Like, this game has such a lifespan now. Like, the amount of players that you pay attention to now in this game is far and wide. Like, and take it from me, man. I've been to a lot of places now, and I've tried to touch Guilty Gear in a lot of these scenes that I go to. Like, I was in London playing Guilty Gear. I was in Singapore playing Guilty Gear with just a lot of different players. And like, hearing what they say about their local players, it's like it's no different than what we hear. But they're always aware of those 
players that are kind of like the hierarchy players. And Kadako, I feel like, is one of those players you're always going to look at when it comes to like, hey, who should I look at for right. main tech? It's going to be Kadako. So that's another beautiful thing about what happens in the world of Guilty Gear. The game lasts long enough to where you get like this hierarchy of players. You get a nice little informational exchange from some of the top players. Some of those people have been playing a long time. And then you get the new blood who comes in and kind of innovates it themselves. So it's just I like the levels that you get in Guilty Gear, man. Happens a lot in a lot of games, don't get me wrong, you know? Not putting it to, to the side, but, like, that's one of the games, the Guilty Gear, one of the things that the game Guilty Gear affords. There's so many people you can look at, there's a lot of levels to it. All right, so go. Fu going with Heihyun here. Up against Dead Spike Kai. So this is going to be another somewhat ground-based matchup. Kai going Kai to look to control the ground. Heihyun does have a uh, couple of good air options with the, uh, you know, air uh, special kick, mm -hmm. but uh, the, the Hayabusa, but... Uh, I call it the Makoto kick. The, yeah, the Makoto exactly, kick. the axe kick, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but I, I don't expect him to go to that too much because Kai does have the DP, and you can see here they are fighting it out on the ground. Mm -hmm. Look at those instant guards right there. Very respectful right now. Both players playing pretty patiently, trying to feel each other out. And yeah, you see that YRC on the axe kick just to get in, hoping this Spike was not prepared. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Just get out, counter hit, gets a small confirm right there with the charge kick. Yeah, see, and that's the difference between these characters. Both have, like, pretty similar normals as far as, like, far slash. The difference is when Kai confirms his, he gets a knockdown, whereas, well, there, that was a counter hit uh, Hayabusa, but um, it's a little bit harder for Heijun to get a knockdown off of her far pokes. Yeah, that's definitely true. And, like, you see Heijun moving around a lot, right? You don't expect, like for her to get in, and then you have to take the guess. And I feel like that's a strength, like the strongest part of Heihyun's gameplay. Trip, hold the orb, take the guess, right? Exactly. It's a little bit harder for Heihyun to get the knockdown, but when she does get the knockdown, she does more with it with this mix-up right here. Mm -hmm. Defense out, tries to go oh. for the charge. Yeah, a little too soon. I like that. I like those options right there. I love the neutralization of like the fireball game for both of these guys. Oh, small confirm right there, could have tech. There's a back dash. Dead Spike in this corner oh, gets trade. the counter hit too. Big trade. He's going to wrap around to the back. No, just keep in the corner. No. Back dash a little bit. Oh, counter hit. That's a knockdown. Mm. Yeah. Ace just to get the knockdown. Sets the orb out once again. The one hitter. Wow, what a whiff punish. Nice YRC goes up to keep the pressure. Faultless chip. defense out. Yeah, now chip, is a, chip is a factor. Now. Yeah, and you can see Fu is trying to go for those high boosters for the chip, but. Dead Spike controlling that space in the front. The 6P oh. to get through. The jump. Staircase him down. Wow, Instant guard dust. dust to the side. Fu is definitely overextending, trying to get this chip kill. He's, he's in trouble now. Okay, dead angle. Hold the sun. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, that wow. Almost, worked that almost worked out. That definitely almost worked out. Yeah, good good uh, awareness from Fu seeing the situation and steering the fireball back to the left. It's funny how that air game came right back in, right? It's like the air game kicks off when there's no meter on either side. All right, a lot of good IVs Oof. here from Fu. Another counter hit into sweep. And you can tell that the ground game is the name of the game. Fu just running in, keeping the legs in check. And look, he's just pushing him across the screen. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. dead spike with the throw. Pushing back now with charge stun edge. All right, counter hit high boost is going to be a small combo here. Caught low again. That's twice he's gotten caught low by that, but no conversion from Fu. All right, dead spike in trouble now. Oh, the defense, dead to spike it. Oh, you, you might be a dead spike. <laughs> oh, okay, the gold Wait burst. a minute, wait a minute. I was about to say the blue one's still there, bro. Okay, okay big counter hit. Mm, right. And the hellfire on top Knocked of down. Big damage, hold the guest burst, still there. You know Fu's thinking about it. You know he's thinking oh. about it. Side dust again. Where's the burst? Okay, there, there it is. is. That was a good spot to burst, too. You would have had to RC to bait oh, that. Oh, wow. Wow. It he he, he can't through. control the ball. Yeah. Oh, the air throw. Him. Oh, and OTG? just enough from the OTGs. Man, Dead Spike did such a good job playing around the Super Bowl both times. I love the point. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so Fu clutching it out there. Man, that was close, though. That back and forth was kind of crazy. I love that, man. All right, Dead Spike, nice, using the uh, gated fireball. It's like a laser goes right through the three hits. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you see those projectiles, those stun edges, starting to play a lot more of a, a part in these matches. 
Another great counter hit confirmed here from Dead Spike. It's going to be techable, but that's okay. He's got the corner position. Yeah, had RC to make that safe. The 6H from Heihyun, extremely unsafe. Quick air dash, there's the burst. A little scary of a burst there. I believe you can actually OS that mm -hmm. with a, with a mm -hmm. jump. Could have got a full combo pick up and carry to the other corner. Possibly not prepared. Maybe just thinking like, look, you're not going to burst here. You know better. Yeah. Uh, spins right. the meter. Yep, yeah. take the ramp. Dead Spike. Yeah, Dead Spike looking good. He's really doing a good job of uh, kind of like harassing Fu with far slash and two slash, just kind of keeping him caged. Nice six P. Okay. Still not edge it. Yeah. And looks, it's just look at the control right here. He's just sitting at that optimal range. Mm -hmm. Oh, big punish. Oh, no, no, misses. There's you can actually throw. dash a bit after you block that six H. Especially he he instant blocked it. You get even more time. Yeah. Has a lot of recovery even afterwards. Nice six P. Six P. Yeah, and you can see Dead Spike just playing a tad bit slower now and just playing a little more controlling. Okay. All right, overhead, but no, it messes up the conversion with the fireball. Yo, these tick throws starting to work out. Catches him swinging. Counter hit. Here's the knockdown for Fu. Nice. Stun dipper. Oh, there's the burst finally. Man, yep. that just clean goes through. I did not know that. Okay. Sets up big blue. Trying to make something happen with it, but good defense from Dead Spike. Just takes a single hit. Nice back dash. Fu with no resources. That's going to be it. Dead Spike taking game two. Two that was straight on top of yeah, two rounds straight. Not only two rounds, but he was in control for most of those rounds. I mean, Fuji started to rally there towards the end of that round, but I feel like for the majority of both of those, Dead Spike was really in control. Saw a couple of really good six Ps, the far slash and two slash, really good timing on the stun edges, the mm -hmm. fireball. He likes to like it's like he unlocks so he's like offensive options. He's like, all right, you're doing you're dealing well with this. What if I add this in here? Right, right. Oh, no tech. Giving him this combo. Good defense. Spins that uh, the faultless meter to get out of there. IB's the Hayabusa. Wow. Fu risking a little bit there with that 6 HE. I guess he had meter to cover it if he needed to, but it's not really how you want to be spending your meter. Ooh, okay. Big hit. There's the, the mm -hmm. uh, jump to block the burst. That was not an OS. That was just a hard B. Just knew he was going to burst. All right, dead spike. Trying to get something back. Definitely on the fence right now when it comes to life. There's a knockdown from Fu. That to me seemed like a very next level situation. Dead Spike did some very reserved pressure there in the corner. I think he might have been suspecting Fu was going to dead angle. And so he just did a single 2P nothing. Ah, yeah. And then Fu was like, nah, I'm not going to dead angle. I'm just going to 2P you right back. And he <laughs> took the, took the uh, frame advantage. Okay. Nice 2S two, two again. Counter hit on top of it. Yeah. Still confirmed the stun dipper. Ooh. Big 2H in anticipation of the forward advancement. Oh, nice. Aware of the tech option right there. Not going to do anything crazy. Keeps the pressure. Sets up the seal in the corner. Okay. Tech, but... Wow. Fu didn't get the knockdown there. Counter hit is going to get him the knockdown the second time. H to get the knockdown. Sets up the orb. Hold this. Nice. Base the dead angle. Blocks it once again. Hold this orb. Only one hit going around this time. RC to keep it safe. Yep. Had to. Once again, that far S like you said Ooh. before. Oh, that's a big punish. Oh, okay. Not quite enough. The throw, though, OTG. No, misses it. Uh oh. Oh, big opportunity here for Fu. He can close it out. Oh, Double cross up. The axe kick. The burst. burst. I mean, that's a huge win for Fu. And I really like. Oh, I, wow. I really like that Fu did not try to hard bait that burst. Because now, even though he lost the round, he's going in with a full mm -hmm. burst advantage. Turn up All right. Axe kick just to control back to that neutral. Oh, counter hit. Knockdown. No, gonna take the combo and still get one. Two hit or. There's the overhead. Finally, Fu getting something off this mix-up. This is, I feel like, the first time we've seen him get anything off the mix-up. He's That's finally up. starting to get those knockdowns, setting up the orbs, and find openings. Get the overhead this time, and Fu is working on a perfect. Yeah, was he just saving it for the for the last minute when he needed it? The neutral jump to bait it all out, and those are the adjustments that you need to go forward. And Death Spike was looking good in every round yep. up until that last match. And you saw the adjustments come from Fu to close out. That's going to put him a little further along in this tournament. I'm not sure. Oh, that, that, was, that was Losers that finals. was Losers Finals, yeah. So he'll he'll need to play one more match to qualify out. Dead Spike, unfortunately, out of the tournament, but came out. I appreciate him coming out. He just is his backyard, so he better be here. Better be here. Yeah, that, that was a great match. This is what I love to see. I just love to see the back and forth. I love to see the counterplay, the adjustments. And, uh, yeah, I feel like Fu just woke up. He was like, whoa, 
I gotta win this last round. And just turned up the, the mix up, just, you know, cranked it up a little bit, got those couple of overheads, exactly what he needed. It's crazy to think we went three games and didn't see the mix up really convert into anything until the that last, last round. Game, yeah. yeah. I mean, and like, and I think it was one of those things because you wanted to see if he was gonna DP. And Dead right. didn't do not one DP it's the a good point. entire I, time. I, I had thought of that yeah. in one of the rounds because Fu was doing like me fireball nothing or like me fireball 2P nothing, waiting to see. And you're right, he didn't do a, yeah. a single he, he was time. Just, look, I was, I was legit. I didn't want to say it out loud, but I was like, he's definitely scouting DP right now. So of course you're going to be a little reluctant. You're going to pump the brakes even on the, like those situations where you can see hey, Hyun gets huge conversions off of it. But here we go. Shout outs to Mystic. Another one of those players who has been around for a very long time and I love that I get to see him making, like I've seen him play so well. Won a tournament recently that I was at um, with Biking and I was like, bro, my man's actually doing work right now, so I'm really happy to see him still playing, committed to the cause, and I love to see the fact that he's out here at Arc Revolve America 2019. Yeah, I mean, Mystic, of course, from, from my scene, I've been playing Mystic in Guilty Gear for like over 10 years, maybe close to 15 years, probably closer to 15 than 10. We used to play Accent Core together all the time. There was a cabinet in our, our arcade, and uh, yeah, I've, 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 known, I've known Mystic for a long time, and it's, it's great to see him finally get a little more well-known. You know, he's mm -hmm. really, the last couple of years, especially with Biken, really started to get his name out there. Pretty pretty well known as like the U.S. Biken. Oh yeah, oh yeah, especially now, right? Like, uh, I, I, I think I was at Ignite in, uh, at Chicago, and I got to play a long set with him, and definitely have, have he, come he, a He made me way. hate Biken, how about oh, you? Oh yeah, oh most, yeah. <laughs> look, first off, I already <laughs> hated Biken, yeah. one. Yeah. Two, I was like, okay, Mystic, I see you, got gotcha. you. But You've been what, playing a lot. What I, what I got to point out, though, about Mystic, what we're going to see here, he, he plays very technical. He, he really spends a lot of time doing research, watching match videos, in training mode, refining his, his mix-ups, his pressure. I, I suspect we're going to see a lot of uh, fuzzy attempts in this corner. Like, okay, I thought maybe right there, but uh, Shrugu actually got caught uh, backdashing. The Tatami almost worked out right there. Almost ready with the convert. Yeah. But um, yeah, this is a matchup also, it's worth noting, Mystic extremely familiar with plays against Hotashi all the time. Oh, Anthony Yozansen? Yep. Wow, he actually missed the OS grab after the Yozansen hit. Okay. So Shrugu with a good opportunity here. Yeah. So it's really oh. common when you're playing against Biken that you try to throw more than you normally would because of the Azami. Yep. You and, gotta uh, be careful. But Mystic knows that. He knows that you're gonna go for more throws, so he was super ready for that uh, Shaka command grab. Just slowly getting back to that corner. Almost got a conversion. Nice 6P right there. And not able to get the combo right there. Yeah, it's a little too far. Oh, Rifle is a little hard to use against Biken because of uh, Suzerain. But Mystic actually not even doing it there. Yeah, you get a, a, a nice little feel on the read that they want to go for, especially there, right? And I can tell you right now, like, the way, like, Mystic plays, like, I feel like he keeps a couple things in the back of his mind, and he plays around it. Oh, wow. And there's that matchup familiarity. He knew exactly what to do off that grenade explosion. Tatami. Oh, yeah. snatch. Burst safe route. Good good job not bursting from Shrugu. Good awareness. And Ooh. see, those are the, these are these Oki situations I was talking about. Mystic knows tons and tons of good Oki setups that are surprisingly good for a character like Biken. You don't expect her Oki to be as good as it actually is. <laughs> Clips him out of the air, push to the corner. Nice speed once again. Yeah. Oh, misses the uh, air dash to Tommy. Nice again. check. Yeah, checking him out of the command grab, and that's going to be it. Yeah. Man, what a check. Yeah, Mystic looking very clean right now. Mystic on one side of his pool. Yeah, Shrugu's really gonna have to do something to surprise Mystic here. Like I said, he just knows this matchup so well. You can see the comfort level. You can see he knew how to convert off some of these random looking hits. Mm -hmm. But uh, Mystic's been in that situation before. He knows exactly what to do. Nice, able to block the grenade in time. Right, Big counter hit. Oh, and he goes for the not guaranteed combo. Counter hit right here, looking for the burst. What a delay. That's a, that's yeah. a classic move right there. You yeah. delay the burst. Make it defensive still, but you know that it's going to get the person off of Mystic trying to fight out of this corner. The shotgun pressure really is not that scary for Biken because of Azami, but still don't really want to be in the corner like that. All right, now corner to corner. Oh, nice. Low air dash gets the combo confirmed. All right. Mm -hmm. Shrugu picking it up here, taking round one. All right, that Brito Express close out. Look at those drums. Good pressure all the way to the corner already. TK is answering. That time gets the air grab. Yeah, that so, jump H, man. You got to hold that. Yeah. 
Tatami. Yep. Tatami. That's plus. Oh, that's the cross-up. Cross up? Oh, yep. come on, man. Pull him back to the corner. This is, what I, this is exactly what I was talking about. His pressure. Like, you don't really see other Vikings doing this kind of stuff. At 5K, he uses it a lot. Good block on the overhead. Oh, gets tagged. Doesn't shake out of the stagger. All right, opportunity here for Shrugu. Another situation, we've, we've seen some of these before. If, if Shrugu can at least get Mystic's burst, he will be pretty happy here. Mm -hmm. Good defense. Oh, wow. Yeah, grenade coming back. Got the wall bounce nice. on top of it. All right, Mystic closing out the round. Didn't have to spend his burst, so both players going in full burst meter. Round start Suzerain, interesting. Backing up a little bit. Shogu <laughs> try to go with the Suzerain, but got shot. Oh, nice Azami. All right, Mystic on the defensive a lot more this round. Shrugu doing a good job of controlling the pace of the match, mm. but then he gets counter hit, burst safe route. Okay. Tommy. Tommy. All right, he tried a goal burst. Oh, got oh, oh no. Yeah, he tried, he tried. Couldn't get a combo off that. All right, gets the hit. Confirm, Bridal Express puts to the corner. And we were talking about those quick air dash mix-ups, and that's one of them. She gets it at the knockdown, but it's still very scary to deal with. Wait a minute. Yeah, close slash is a problem. Okay, a zombie on the way down doesn't catch anything. Oh, what a back dash. While it clashed with the Tatami, what awareness oh. he used the 5K just to balance. That was so good. Counter hit 2H. Uh, it's just enough. And Trugu taking game two here. And it was all about that air mobility that helped him out. I think the biggest thing I saw in that game that, that changed was uh, using more Pineberry, ground Pineberry, controlling that space. It looked like Mystic's uh, go-to option. Usually, you see Vikings use 2S to just knock the grenade yep. away. It's a very fast normal. Ooh, big counter hit. Oh, yeah. Mm. But uh, yeah, Mystic was using Tatami to try to clear the grenade, which takes a lot longer. It's the 6P. Back dash to Tatami, still gets that Tiger in the instant Yozansen. Ooh, 2H again. Mystic opting to burst, getting knocked down again in the corner. Oh, Good nice block, block on, on the, the overhead. overhead. CQC, though. Close quarters cop. This is a lot of damage. It's exactly what he was talking about. Scary situation here. You won't burst doing that, man. Nice walk out of the corner. That was clutched by Mystic back. Going back to mid screen. This is not going to be enough. Can he get him towards the corner, though? Oh, oh the close slash. No. Mystic tried to tech and then air dash jump S. He was a little too high, just like barely. And now, just like that, Shrugu is the one that's on set point. Nice 6P. Small combo, but he'll take it. Lock him down with the Tatami. Good. Trying to lock him down. Oh, nice air wow. throw. They fall his defense is looking really good until he got air throw. All right, uh -huh. where's the burst coming? Not right. coming at all. Tatami? Sh no. Shrugu's going to try to just oh, fight, that's fight back here. Uh -huh. Still, that burst is there. Yeah, he's not going to spend it now, though. Definitely oh. not. Oh, going for the reset. Oh, okay. he's a Nami in the air. Hold it. All right, going into the last round here. So again, Mystic is in winner's side, so this is for him to qualify out. Otherwise, I believe they have to play again if Shrugger wins. Ooh, the rifle working out. And here's what I was talking There's that 2S I said to knock the grenade away. Much faster button. Okay. Gets the air dust. Uses the Tatami to get back Ooh. in. Checks with the 2P. Don't think Mystic wanted that 6P on pressure. Bad spot here now for Mystic. He does have resources, though, so he's got some options. Okay, goes for the jump. YRC once again. Cross up close S works out. Okay, wait a minute. Here comes Mystic. Ooh, gets hit by the close slash. Okay, small conversion. Going for the reset. Doesn't oh. get it. OTG, yeah, just get out of there. Okay. Mystic pushing back towards the corner. Misses his air dash. That was big. Gave up the pressure there. Shrugu. Oh, oh. gets the hit. Oh! Big the hit. Counter hit. Oh, the one the time burst. he doesn't go for the air first throw. Route. He went for the straight damage. Looked out. There's no meter on the side. Oh, oh he did not block this time. Wow. And that, that was just the pressure of the match. I think really getting to Mystic there. The first two times he, he hit him. Yeah, so they're, they're just going to play again. They have to play another set now because this is grand finals mm -hmm. of the pool. So, yeah, you, you saw Mystic get the uh, the counter hit, um, uh, the, the run move, <laughs> into um, the air Kabari, right? And he was doing a burst safe route. You do 2P, 2P. Yeah. And he did that every time until the end, and Shrugu burst. 
I think that's the sugar will know in the matchup. He's legit like, oh, I know what that is. Oh, oh. big counter hit. Double that. Oh, oh no. Yeah, low is out. not working. Jump D. All right, small combo. Knockdown, no. Throw, that's going to convert. Yeah. 6 H reconfirmed. Bridal Express. Mystic trying to fight back this round. Spends his burst. Good instant trying block. Trying to just get out of this corner. Counter and here it is hit. again. So this time with no burst, he can do this this uh, route, which is max damage. Oh, still a black beat combo on the side. Makes him get blocked to, Tana to Tommy. Wow, Shrugu is getting beat up here. Yeah, he's getting mauled right now with, with no burst. The 2S finds the hit. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. One hit situation. Next oh, hit is going to take it. No, no conversion. Bridal oh. Express. What a counter. Yeah, the Azami at the last second against the air, air Bridal. So smart. Wow. Round okay. start air to air. Ooh, T did not want that side swap. That is for sure. This is going to be a conversion. Mm. Nice. Didn't tech out. That's going to be a lot of damage. Ooh. Okay. Side swap. No, the fake into the overhead. Wow, was he still there? Yeah, Base the, still burst. There's yeah. the stun. Okay, all right. All right, Mystic coming alive. Two rounds straight. Two quick rounds straight. All right, so another opportunity here for Mystic to qualify. This is now a qualifier match for both players. Pressure. Nice. Jumps out of the command grab. Shrugger still. Game. A little too obvious with those quick command grabs for, for what Mystic is reading. Nice, hit him into the grenade. Oh, the rifle once again. Tatami, counter hit on top of him. This could be big damage. Yeah. Oh, just barely dropped that jump K. Whoa, misses air dash, so he got 5D when he landed instead of jump D. I like that. Using the guard cancel to get the switch right there. Mystic trying to hold this corner. Oh, nice jumps right air over. Air. Met with the air 5P. Gets the combo conversion. We saw before another air throw. Not enough. Needs one more hit. Nice back dash. Get out of that mid-screen pressure. Okay. Kabari. All right. So Mystic on set point. Mm -hmm. Going to have a lot of looks at it now. 6P, he was ready for, he was ready for that Bridal Express. Yeah. Ooh, air dash gets tagged by the rifle. Yeah, there's that suzerain through. You, you really can't use rifle like that against uh, Biken. Yo, Zansen. Wow, 6P clashing. Yo, did you see? Just barely missed the close edge. <laughs> yeah. Just barely. Living on a prayer. Shrugu got to do something here. Oh, mm, big, big damage. damage. They get the pickup. He does. All right, not over just yet. The Ooh. cross up into the corner. And Mystic take. That was insanely fast that second set yeah, he was like what you see him took the jacket off he's like no you did make me take this jacket off that's how you know yeah, is that all it was real. is that jacket like weighted what's going on that's with that weighted jacket bro that's how we're all anime here we know what's in the jacket obviously it's weights yeah he to took, make he took that jacket off and i blinked and the match was over <laughs> Well, guys, I hope you are enjoying Arc Revo America 2019. It's still going strong. We started off with Blaze Blue. We went into some Guilty Gear, but it's not done just yet. We got one more match? Come on, man. They're playing with me. I, I, I can't believe we're nearing the end of the block already. This this went so fast. Look, man. I told, Look, we're at the point in the world of Guilty Gear, man. We're at the point now. There's a lot of gods out there. You got to be careful. There's some guys that have been practicing, not only in the basement, but just looking at other people, scouting like I need to do what that guy's doing if I want us to succeed. But here we go. Sway. Oh, Sway oh, up there? Yo, Sway. Yes, yeah, so we got Shinjin Biken versus Sway. Sway making the trip all the way from New York. Yeah. A couple of uh, TSB players One out here. TSB Manny is here. What are the TSB streamer boys? What kind of controller is that? You got a lot of buttons up there, man. Yeah. <laughs> got the different color buttons. It's throwing me off. All right, so we're going to have another bike in here. Oh, and Shinjin Biken is actually in winners, so this could be... Oh, wow. Yeah, th this could be a qualifier match for him. If uh, Sway wants to qualify out, he's going to have to win two sets here. All right, I'm thinking this is a button confirm. Is this a button confirm? I think this is a button confirm. We will see here. Looks like it might be, yeah. So... One of the things that I always look for in a matchup when, when you're fighting against Biken is 
how good are the other characters' high options, right? So you look at a character like Eno, for example, Nightmare for Viking. Mm -hmm. Azami is basically off the table because yeah. the highs are going to come the lows. as just a high frequency as the lows, right? Yeah. Some other characters, like Jam, for example, not so much. Her overheads are a little more limited. She's got dust, obviously. Every character has dust, but, you know, not really going to see that too often, you would think. And uh, low Azami, probably going to be pretty useful here. We'll have to see. I mean, Jam also has Jump 2K, but unless you're going to spend meter, you can't yeah, really convert can't off really of that. Do anything you need like a very it. specific type of hit to be able to convert off that meter list. So you, you gotta you gotta put it there, right? You gotta put it in their head though. Yeah, Cause sometimes yeah, you're gonna want to get those hits, take that damage, and make them start twitching in that up close range, especially for jumps. Exactly. But one thing that Jam does do well is throw, and that's another thing I talked about before is being very good against Viking. So we'll have to see if that comes into play. Especially because you know a lot of times trying to, like you said, going for like those guard cancel moves definitely helps out the throw situation. All right. Shinjin looking good. Gets the gets the low hit, the 2K against the parry. Okay, okay. Oh, misses the air dash. Sway taking advantage of the opportunity, getting the knockdown, recarding. Oh. So that's, that, the that's kick a kick card too. That's another thing. So Sway going with the usual play pattern here of, of spending a card to get the knockdown and then recarding, right? Something players used to do a lot more in the older games is just every time you get a hit against Viking, forget the knockdown. Just yeah. max your damage. Because mm -hmm. she doesn't have as high health. As, as a lot of other characters, and your knockdown is less important because she has a zombie. So you might as well just get the max damage, go back to neutral. You're actually more likely to hit her in neutral yeah, than you true. are from your Oki. That's, that's a very good point. Puff ball. Meter. It's a steel meter, though. Yeah. Ryujin. Oh, he tried to bait the burst. And the Azami takes it. Yo, she puts the sword in her mouth, though. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. <laughs> Zoro style. Legit holding one hand. When you, only have, when you only have one hand, you gotta... You, you gotta know, make do. Yeah, you gotta make do with what you got. Right? Even if it's like putting a cannon under your, you know, under the geek. All right, so Sway down a round now. He had an opportunity that round. Try to bait the burst. It didn't work out. He lost because of that. Ow, ow, ow. Right, puff ball too high to get a knockdown. Oh, Counter hit sweep. This is gonna be yeah. Oh yeah. That's oh, just no. naturally burst safe, but Sway with no punish. Oh, oh, I don't think he meant to do that. He I beat the, the tatami, so I don't think he meant to do that. All right. I feel like this gives Sway another chance right now. Ooh. He's just keeping the pressure on him with the tatamis. Goes for the run, gets the throw. Is this going to be Guts. enough to close it Guts. out? Guts. Guts. Yeah, is it enough? Save He's me. trying. Going for a reset. Ooh, oh, the air is on it. The twice. sword is in her Look at that. That's godlike. So Shinjin biking, closing out the round same way twice. Got to be a little frustrating if you're Sway. Especially on, like, on some air to air stuff, right? Yeah. Like you're not expecting it every time. Sway probably wants to make some adjustments, look for some air throws in those situations instead of just uh, air to air. All right, burst safe route, somewhat. All right, wake up parry the tatami. Okay, the pressure. K. Catch, Catch the, the back dash this yeah, time. Very nice. Gets the knockdown. Recards. Oh, That's maybe gonna go under. Ooh, yeah. Counter hit. That's gonna be damage. Yeah, this is all, this is gonna be good damage. Oh, okay, gets nice. the throw, yeah, and that's exactly beats. what we were talking about. Yep. The fact that she's going to try to go for that a lot. You've seen it work out in that first game for Sinji Biken, and now you see the throws start to come out. And she gets conversions off of those throws, so it's going to be super important. That's why you pointed it out. Yeah, it's a really common thing. Oh, yeah, the 2K's burst save. It's a really common thing to see Jam, like you were just saying, RC the throw, get a card, get a knockdown. Free card there for Sway. Oh, Spencer, you get your card already. Nice, Throw. he was ready. That's what I was talking about. No cards on the table, but still gets the side switch. Air conversion for Sinji Biker. Yeah, too high to get a knockdown. Oh, and the air to air again, but no, misses the pickup. Big opportunity oh. for Sway. Missed the air conversion. To air. Or gets the parry. Look at the resources on Sway's side. So much meter, yeah, he's gonna RC that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the reset smart, because that combo was not gonna kill. I, I like that, actually. I like that a lot. Okay, all right, Sway. Yeah, Sway with back. the answers. Fighting back for sure. Sway, Sway, Sway does not want to, you know, did not want that five hour flight to be in vain. Right? Sway might have the answers. Do you got the answers, Sway? I mean, I like the adjustments I saw. It definitely looks like it. Double counter here right there. They trade. Low Azami. OTG. Nice. Sway escaping. Man, that is just killing Sway. He's got to stop hitting so many buttons in those situations. All right, knock down towards the corner. Nice. 
again, catching the tech. RC. All right, Sway now bursting. Nice Whoa. throw. This is what you were saying, the uh, combo off the throw. Okay. And this is more for momentum on top of that. Right. Still has a card, spends it, gets the knockdown. Good patience. Nice sweep. A little scary there, but nice counter hit. Suzerain through the first attack and then to get counter hit by the 2H. And that's going to be a Sway. kill. Sway with the answers. Yeah. Great adjustments by Sway. I think if Sway just stops getting hit by the air zombie, I think, right. I think he'll uh, have a lot easier time here. But Shinjin Baiken trying to close out. He does not want it to go any further. Shinjin Baiken staying mobile. Gets Ooh. the counter hit to Tommy. Very nice. Looking, looking for the side switch combo right there. Not going to work out. Not able to make anything happen from that counter hit either. Nice. Gets the knockdown. Yep, baits the parry. Oh, so he did Suzerain there, thinking that the follow-up from the parry was going to come. Sway one step ahead, didn't do it. Wake up parry once again. Nice side swap, very smart from Sway. And the OTG, I love it, the fake high. Sway gets the burst. Out of Shinjin Baikin, mm. nice 6P. Take him back towards his left corner now. No knockdown, though. And you can tell Sway. Sway's trying to base something Yeah, out. I was just going to say, very patient right now. All right, catches the far slash. And again, the back dash. We've seen that a couple of times. The running uh, slash catching the back dash, and that's going to be it. Sway with the knocks, reset. Yeah, knocks Shinjin Baikin into losers for a second set. Okay, Sway might have the answers. He might just have the answers. Shinji Baikin, Sway, set number two. Grand finals of this pool here. These guys trying to get out. All right, Sway with the early hit here. Damage not important, but the uh, corner positioning definitely is. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, right. the 2S. So, yeah, Sway not respecting the 2S during that YRC freeze. Wow. Close slash actually hitting there. That could have been big damage yeah. for Sway. That could have been crazy damage. And he had a card on deck, too. Oh, Ooh. man. Big combo Speaking conversion. Speaking of big damage, if he can get close enough to the corner, and he can, he's going to be able to get some get dust reps dust now. Loops. Wow, oh. and again, same starter. Yeah, Dizzy. Wow. Full charge. Yeah, Double the second charge. One. Oh, man. Take as much burst as possible, absolutely. All right, so game one of the second set. Shinjin up around. Patience for both players here. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, baits out the retaliation, catches him with the Azami. Oh, combo drop, though. No burst on Sway's side, so that couldn't have been a bait. Whoa, scary. Setting out the puff ball on top of it. Oh, Man, God. He's air dashing he, and getting hit. He's he, trying to. He's, he's kind of overextending the, right now. Yeah, I was just going to say, you, you took the words right out of my mouth, Steve. The air-to-air the -air situations are scaring me here from Sway because that's where he's really losing a lot. Okay. Oh, it's an air tech. Okay. No knockdown because no card, mm, but. The falling S on top of it, that's going to put Shinji Biken up 1 0 in the reset. All right, so a bunch more opportunities here for Shinjin Baikin to qualify out. I feel like Sway has just got to keep the fight on the ground. He's yeah, just he got to, these air-to-air -air situations are just killing him. And he needs to bait those counters a little more. And that, to get the reset, that's what happened. He got multiple throws, multiple combos. That was sick. He did 2H, baited the Azami, and then parried, yeah, parried the uh, Sakura. Big damage here. No drop. Sway oh. needed that. All right, gonna get the knockdown anyway. Not Takes that bad. Then. Wow, did that combo? I'm not sure. I think he comboed jump 2K into 2K? Was that counter hit? Like, it must wow. have been last hit counter hit or something like that. Sway definitely coming alive right now. That round was pretty clean. Gotta pump those brakes a little bit. Take your time. Counter wow. hit. Round start Big 2H. Damage. Yeah. Nope. Ooh, Kapari from out of range of the parry. Counter hit, big damage. No, just small. That could have been potentially a lot yeah. more. I'm looking for the carry, but nothing. Yeah. He's taking a single dust, push to the corner. But these hits are adding up. These hits are definitely adding up. He's definitely overextending right now. Trying to swing in the middle of some of these pressure combos. Instant, Yozansen to close out that is an overhead. Yeah, he's swinging in some of these situations. And the minute he does, Sinji Baikin, that's when he hits the button. Yep. Closes out. This is going to be set point. It's tough. You know, you, when, when Baikin's pressuring you, you're kind of in the distance that you want to be. You're like, man, I just want to hit her. I just want to get a knockdown. But, you know, it might be wise for Sway to just start to play a little more patiently and just try to escape. 
Parry, yeah, not not working out for Sway. He's in trouble now. Yeah, gonna be a combo right here. Burst is on the side of Sway, so it's definitely not done. But he needs this round to stay alive. Set point for Shinji oh. Bike and gets the throw. Big damage. Guts is probably gonna save her, but there's meter, good burst. there's the burst. That was a good burst point. And the air to air, we talked about it the whole set. And is that gonna be enough? Uh, he's trying with the jump P. No, not enough. Sway, one more okay, chance, gets okay. the knockdown. Gotta be careful of the burst. Sway in trouble. Okay. All right. Now Sway really needs a hit. Ooh, the chase. Okay. okay. No oh, too high to get anything. No. Else. And that is gonna be it. Gigi. Really tough break there for Sway. Got the right 2H there, but so high he tried to convert off it and just wasn't able to. And I think you could have just let a little fall a little bit more, just a tad more, and you would have forgot that full conversion. But that's gonna be it for Sway. Not gonna make it. Shinji Biken will be making it out of his pools, and that's all she wrote for Guilty Gear today. So we see, yeah, we saw a lot of uh, players qualify out of their pool that I'm excited to see later. We got a, a bunch of players already qualified that we're gonna start to see later on today. I think it's in, what, like four hours or yeah, so? Yeah, I think it's gonna be a little later three, on today. Three or four hours, so yeah. So we're still gonna see a lot more games played today. Of course, we started out with Blaze Blue, transitioned into some Guilty Gear. I know you can tell by the music, but we're not done just yet here. We have Blaze Blue tag coming up right after this, but first, we're going to take an incy wincy break, and when we come back, Arc Revo 2019 in the Americas returns. Please, guys, stay tuned.